Greetings. This is Patrick Gallagher, event director for FETC. I'm going to be talking to you about how to use the online invitation system for the FETC 2015 hosted buyer program. By now, you would have already um, set your password for the online system. And then you would come to the login screen, putting in your email address as a vendor and your password. Hitting submit. If you forget your password, um, you can click here. Um, and you can uh, get some information about and a system to help you uh, reclaim that old password or change that password. Um, the next step is is um, submitting your email address for your username and your password and coming to the vendor screen. At this point, you can book attendee meetings or view the meetings that have already been set for you. As you all are well aware, you have submitted target titles as well as selected the attendees who have expressed interest in meeting with you either to accept and decline those meetings. So at this point, you're gonna see a list of appointments in this area under my appointments. Under my appointments is the list of the appointments that you currently have. Um, there is a key here. Um, if it's pending, meaning that you're still waiting to hear um, the uh, attendee is, is waiting to hear from you or you're waiting to hear from the attendee, if it's been declined or accepted. You can always cancel any meeting at any given time if you need to reschedule. When you do cancel, we'll give you an opportunity to send an email to that attendee giving them a reason or maybe even asking them if they can reschedule by hitting cancel. So let's go and just do a quick uh, booking an attendee meeting. Um, because the entire attendee database is in the system, um, there is a bit of a delay when you're clicking and going to the list of attendees. Um, we are working on index, indexing that site on an ongoing basis, um, and, um, but it's a good thing because we have a lot of attendees, and that's what happens when you have a lot of, a lot of data in um, this uh, database. So what you're going to end up doing is, is you're going to come to um, a selection screen where you can, do different, you, can, you can select by different identifiers, country, state, position, sector, level, desired products and services. Um, and so you, you're allowed to do two selects. So what you can do is um, you can select, uh, obviously, uh, state, position, sector, whatever the case may be. Um, and, and then you can also search by name. So one of the things that this is a great tool that you can use to just sort by a... Um, uh, a to get all of the attendees coming from, let's say, Orange County. That, um, and all of their different titles. Um, you can search by last name um, and um, it will come up or come or school name, I should say, and it will come up. Last name will not come up by a uh, part of me. I shouldn't say that, but school name um, will come up. Um, so this is a dummy account that I've set up. So I'm going to select the president of Gallagher Ventures from Milford, Massachusetts. By the way, that's me. And then as 1105 Media, I'm now going to schedule or I'm going to invite the president of Gallagher Ventures to come and meet with me in these selected time periods. I, I can choose from any of these time periods. So I'm going to select uh, 1230. A screen's going to pop up. It's going to confirm that's when I want to send the invite. And the invite is sent to the attendee. When we go back to my appointments, you're going to see now this is pending, waiting to have a confirmation back from Gallagher Ventures, okay? If I go to my appointments, I can see what's going on and if, and, and what, if that attendee has um, either, is it still pending, has it been declined, or has it been accepted? Now, each exhibitor has a certain number of meetings available in their schedule, okay? And once you reach that maximum, you have to wait to find out if attendees were accepted or declined. And you will not be able to go over that maximum. If you want to download the list of your appointments, you could just click this, this link right here. It will download an Excel spreadsheet of those that you can forward on to your sales team. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me, pgallagher at 1105media.com, or call me at 617 512-6656. Thank you.